All right, once you know what circles are in Google Earth, there's a lot of little tips that can uh, make them work better for you, and I'll show you a few of those real quick. Uh, the first is putting them in a different order. On your sidebar here, it used to be that they would show up alphabetically, which is why I have a few with exclamation points at the beginning, but that changed a couple months ago. I just haven't renamed those ones. You can put them in any order you want, and doing that's remarkably easy. Go to your circles page and simply drag them around. Put this one in front of Android. It's saved. It's done. If I go back to the home page, it'll be in that order. I still keep them mostly alphabetical just because that's how I work, but you can put them any order you want. Uh, the key here is on your home page, um, I've expanded that out, we'll refresh it here, you only see five before it gets to the more. So if it's a circle you use a lot, and that's why I have those three at the top, you want to get those right near the top so you're not always having to hit more to get down to them to view them. It's kind of cool. Uh, one thing people have asked for a lot on Google Plus that still hasn't happened is a way to view a few circles at once. Not everything, but not just one. Like I maybe want to see uh, my Dothan circle and my Geo circle, but there's no way to see them both. It actually is on mobile, but not on the main site. The way to do that, if it's something you think you want to filter together a lot, is to create a new circle that contains both of them. Uh, so, for example, we'll go in here, we'll create a new circle, um, and again, for the purpose of our example, we'll call it Dothan Geo. You know, that's I'm not sure I'd ever want to see that combination necessarily, but we'll, and we'll create it empty. What we do now is to go into the Geo circle or into either one. Click it, it shows everyone at the top. We will select all and then drag them into this combined circle. And then I would go and do the same thing with Dothan, and then hey, suddenly I'd have that Dothan slash geo circle. The important thing to remember is as you add people in the future, if I add someone new to my geo circle, I need to then also manually add them to this Dothan geo circle to make sure they're in both. Um, in this case here, I'm also going to delete this one because I don't really need it. Um, that's your best bet for now. Hopefully, they add something in the future to make that a little better, but that's how you do it. Uh, sharing circles is fairly new and is quite cool and it's quite simple. Uh, to do that, you click a circle, click the share button here, and this will set it up to share this circle out with the world. Um, very important that you tell people what it's about. The name of your circle is not revealed here. So if I share this, people will think this is just random 40 people from Mickey. So I'm going to say, you know, these are, whoops, these are some great. Google Earth slash Maps folks. I've actually shared this one before and said something similar. And then choose who you want to share it with. You know, again, just like with any post, I can share it with just my personal circle or with all my circles or with public or whatever. And click share, and they can they can grab it for themselves and get it. Um, the flip side of that, I'll show you how it works. Uh, so if you go in here, here's Robert Scoble shared this photography circle. Well, you can add 5,000 people to a circle. When you share it, it only shares 500 and the rest just get cut off. So he's taking the time to build a new circle called Photography A through M, and then presumably one called N through Z, so you can grab them both independently rather than just getting 500 of his, roughly 750 it looks like probably, in there. To grab it, just click Add Circle, and this will add it to yours. I can type a name for it, save it, and you're done. Uh, the key to remember when sharing circles though is I'm grabbing this circle as it exists right now. If he adds other people to the circle tonight, I won't get them. Um, so that's why if you have a circle like my Geo one, if I happen to add 10 or 12 more cool people, I'll probably reshare it so people can get those updates because they won't get them as they happen. Um, also, when I grab a shared circle from someone else, I like to mention where it's from. I, I like to use my circle names for that. So you can say do S for shared, who it was, and what it was. So Lewis Gray shared this tech circle, so I wrote that there. Erica Joy shared one called, she called Interesting Folks. I trust her judgment, so I added that one. Um, you can see I've got a bunch of them like that. Um, and if you click on, you know, of course, you can see who's in it. And what I like to do, we'll pull up Andy Hirschfeld's tech one here, uh, is if someone is in there and I find them interesting, I'll add them to some of my other circles to, so I know, remember what they're about. Uh, in the case of Danny Sullivan, I had already added him. So he was already in my primary and tech circles. Also showed up in Lewis Gray's tech circle that he shared that I picked up and Andy Hirschfeld's tech circle that he shared that I picked up. So you get people that overlap, but that's okay. It's not a problem. You know, they still just show up once in your stream. Uh, it works well. And just a few things, people wonder about naming conventions. I've seen it a ton of different ways. Uh, I like to do it this way. Primary, where it's just the people I really want to see most of the time. I follow, you know, about 1,300 folks. This is just the primary. So if you post good stuff, you make it into there. These are people I know in real life. Uh, some Android folks, people that are big on Google+. Uh, I lived in Dothan for a while. There's two folks from Dothan on here. I live in Marietta now. There's 31 there. If I meet someone in a Hangout or meet them on Plus, I put them there. Um, that kind of thing. So add circles for how you see fit. There's a lot of great possibilities out there. Hope that helps. Thanks.